Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to edit using CutCut Pro on your iPhone. Now, I used CutCut Pro for a long time as my main video editor alongside iMovie. And a long time ago, I did make a video on how to edit on CutCut Pro and you guys absolutely love that video. I think that's one of my most popular videos on here. So I'm going to be doing an updated video on that and you guys did leave a few comments on that video with things that I said incorrect or things that you had more questions about so I'm going to try to incorporate some of that also in this video. So we're just going to be taking a look at QCAD Pro and I'm going to show you guys the basics of what this editor can do. Okay, so roll the screen recording. Okay, so let's start off by just talking about QCut and what I'm basically going to be showing you guys in this video. Now, in my previous video, I did more things, but not too much in depth because the video would be too long. But in this one, I'm going to be focusing solely on transition mostly and adding text with custom transitions and just a few other things as well. But mostly transitions since that's something you guys asked me a lot about in my previous video. If you want to see my previous one, you can click on the I in the top right corner. But okay, so I'm first off just creating my project and I'm naming my project CutCut Pro. I'm setting the resolution to 16 by 9. It's already default at that. That's just because that's the size of a standard YouTube video. I'm leaving it landscape and then setting the background color to white. Then I'm going to click on done in the top right corner and it's going to take me to my blank canvas basically with my timeline with no media or anything. Then if you click in the top left corner and click on movies, it's just going to take you back to all your previous edits. If you click on the first button, it says it's on do button. Then you have your settings button again. We're just going to adjust the settings again if there's anything you want to change. You can do the export button or the play button. Since we don't have media, it's not going to play anything. And this is basically our timeline that we have over here and we have that plus button and if we click on that we can import any kinds of media. So I'm going to click on video and I'm going to import a video from my camera roll onto my project as you can see here. And basically if you double tap on that clip it's going to bring up a toolbar at the bottom and you're going to have more options of editing it. Okay so as you can see at the bottom we have the scissors which basically means you're just splitting your clip then I also have the trash can which means you can delete it then you have the first thing there which is basically transitions but I'm gonna go into that later then we have the volume toggle so you can make your videos louder or not so loud you can adjust the transparency and the speed of your video so you can basically make it slower or faster then next up we have the option to basically crop our videos then next up on the toolbar we have these three circles and that's basically for color correcting your video so saturation brightness contrast everything that you need to color correct that one clip you can do in this area next up we have this area where you can basically rotate and everything and there are a few more things that you can do here but you can basically just play around in the toolbar and see what will work for that clip specifically i think the main thing about this is just to play around with it because even if you see me doing it here you won't really know until you actually play around and see what everything does in your project now you can see I'm moving my timeline and I'm gonna click on the plus button again and I'm gonna go ahead and import another video because there was someone who was asking me how to add transitions between two clips. Now you wanna add the clip in a different timeline. I know it's a little weird because other editors is not necessary. Then you're gonna double tap on that second clip and you're gonna click on transitions and the plus button and then you're going to add whichever transition you want in here. So they have a bunch in here and I'm just going to click this one and then you can see it plays. So now I'm just going to go ahead and click on the correction button and then play my video clip and you will see it's basically a transition between my clips. And it's as easy as that. So that's basically how you add a transition in between clips. It's just a little different because you have to add the other clip in a whole different timeline. Okay, so now I'm going to click on the plus button and click on photo and as you can see I have imported this photo 
of a thumbnail that I made a long time ago. It doesn't really have anything to do with this video, but I'm just going to be using it. Now, once I've double tapped on that, I just basically made it smaller and placed it wherever I wanted it on the screen. And that's basically just how you get a picture in your video and you can move it around and you can also expand it to make it last longer in your timeline. Now to add a transition, you just basically do the same thing and then you can click on the plus button again and add an end transition as well if you want that. And that's basically just how you import a photo and add a transition to it on your timeline. It's very simple. If you didn't really get that, just replay it again just so you can basically see what I did. Okay, I'm going to click on the plus button again on the different timeline and I'm going to click on text. Now I'm going to type in whatever text I want on my video. I'm just going to say no to because it's the Galaxy Note 2 that I'm working on in that clip. Shout out to a video that's going to come out next week. But now I'm going to be showing you guys what you can do. So first thing you can do is basically add like change whatever you typed. Then you can add some color effects and different things. Next up, what you can do is you can adjust the size and the colors. So yeah, just play around with that toggle. And if you click on that white, you'll see a few options come up and you can click on more colors and just get a more co reasonable color that you want. Then on the F, you can adjust the font. You can also import fonts into CureCut Pro so you have custom fonts. Let me know if you want a video on how I do that. Then you also get a thing that you can adjust the border size of your text. Next up, we also have, you can adjust the alignment, so to left, right, or center. You can also add a shadow to your text, so you just play around with the toggles, the arrows, just to select how far the shadow is from the text and everything. So basically just play around with that till you get the shadow that you actually like and want on your text. Then again, you have more options like rotating your text and cropping your text and things like that so there's also things like that or flipping your text you have that there but what I want to show you guys now is how to add transitions on your text more specifically custom transitions so you want to go and go to your transitions area but make sure your timeline is at the beginning of the text now click on the plus button for the transitions and click on custom transitions at the top and wait, first I need to go ahead and I need to move my text off of the screen. Just as, this is just for my example what I want to do with my text. So you can see my text is off my screen. It's not on my screen, any, screen anywhere. Now, again, you want to move the timeline and you want to click on custom transition. And now I'm going to be moving my text to wherever I want it to go on the screen. So here you can see I moved it to the top corner and now you can see I have my transition over there. Now I'm going to click on the plus button again and I'm going to move it to the other side of my screen. And that's going to be my second part of my transition and click on the plus button and again and say in again custom transition and I'm going to go ahead and move it to the middle of the screen and make it larger. Now what I have done is I have made my custom transition. So you can just play that and then that's what it looks like. Now I get that uh, that must have been very confusing but just look what I did and play it over and over until you see what I did. I just basically clicked on the plus button and said custom transition and moved my text to where I wanted it to move to. Now you can also just end in, uh, add an end transition and then you're basically ready for your text. So this is what it looks like when it comes in and it has that for a few seconds and then goes out. So that's how you add custom transitions to text or videos. I just showed it on text, but you can add that to videos or anything or photos. Whatever you want, that's how you add custom transitions. Then on the plus button, I'm just going to go through other things. You have the self-draw option. So there are a few things you can do here. You can just scribble around. You can adjust the softness or hardness of the brush. So that's basically kind of like the transparency of it. And you can right over your videos. I've never found myself using this. Okay, so yeah, you can just play around with this self-draw option. Like I said, I don't really use it, but yeah, you can add shapes and stars and add little boxes of text. Things like that you can do here. So I, I guess it could be helpful. It's just not something that I've done very often. And just to clear everything, you can just click on that thing in the bottom right corner, the second one. 
Okay, so that's basically just the self-draw option. Then you also have a music option. So they have some pre-uploaded music on here and you have a lot of sound effects that I've pre-uploaded for you to use. So you can see there's a bunch of sound effects that you can use or you can just access your iTunes library in the app and that's how you add some music to your videos. And then lastly, you have the voiceover option. So as soon as you click on the voiceover option, it will start to record your voiceover. I wish it had a countdown, but it doesn't. And then when you're done, you just click on that red dot and then you're finished with your voiceover and you have it in your timeline. So those are just a few things that I've shown you in this CutCut Pro tutorial that you can do to edit your videos and add transitions and things like that. And to export, you click on the third option in the top right corner, say save to album to save it to your camera roll and you set it to the quality that you want it to be. So that's basically everything that I'm gonna be showing you guys in this video. Let me know if I miss anything that I can do a separate video on that. So yeah, that's basically how you do the transitions on CubeCut Pro. Okay, so that's how you edit on CubeCut Pro. This app is still really great. Right now I'm using LumaFusion to edit all my videos, which is a bit more advanced, but CubeCut Pro is definitely one of my favorite editors. I hope you guys did find this video helpful. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below letting me know any more questions you maybe have for me and I'll try to reply to all of them. Subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen. Click on the playlist to see all my other YouTube tips and tricks videos, so more editing tutorials and things like that. Click on the playlist for that and click on the video to my previously uploaded video. Love you guys so much, be weird and be proud of it. Bye.